A student is shot and killed this morning while walking to school in Chester, Delaware County. And as Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Neves tells you, it was the first in a series of shootings today in that same neighborhood. Within four hours in the city of Chester, police dealing with four separate shootings. It's unsafe out here. This is like every time we turn around, there's a shooting. All the gunfire in the vicinity of Chester High School. The school forced to go on lockdown all day, only letting in frightened parents. And my stepson goes to school right here right now, and I had to come up here to her and come and get him. He could have been somebody that got shot to death. Unfortunately, a Chester High School student was one of the victims in the first shooting this morning. Authorities say that student was 16 years old. From our accounts, uh, good kid, Goes to the high school, uh, was a uh, football player from what I understand. The high school football player, according to police, was gunned down at 758 this morning along 11th Street, simply as he was walking to school. This is a horrendous loss of life. This is devastating. He should be sitting in the classroom. He should be bettering, bettering himself academically, but unfortunately he's not. The city of Chester overwhelmed by the loss of a young student's life, while authorities are overwhelmed by the violence in the city today, including one officer-involved shooting. What would help us the most is for someone to not make up their mind to shoot at people. Police have now identified the 16-year-old Chester High School student who was shot and killed as Zion Abdullah, vowing they will do everything they can to find his murderer. In Chester, Alicia Nieves, CBS3 Eyewitness News.